scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Very quickly, if you are in this place and you are trusting God for a healing, any part of your body, or you are trusting God for a loved one, now is the time to be healed. I want you to place your hand right at the point you are trusting God for a miracle. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. Standing for your loved ones. Standing for yourself. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. Believe. I want to pray. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. And unto you we lift our voice in praise. You are the Lamb of all. your hands I want to pray for you now Jesus something special supernatural about your name Jesus something happens when I mention Hear me I'm about to pray for you now And here's what I'm going to ask you to do As soon as I pray Healings are already taking place I'm going to ask a few of you Who have received a miracle Let's have maybe one of the pastors Maybe Pastor Emmanuel or so Let's have one or two of the pastors So that as soon as you receive a miracle They will just direct you who we'll have one or two testimonies let's shame the devil here at this campground and let the devil know that the rccg youth and the church even of young people and believers in america is still strong and alive and that jesus will forever be glorified now lay your hands as i pray shout aloud amen as i pray in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Every devil of infirmity, I stand upon the grace of our Father and the grace of Jesus Christ and I declare every spirit that is behind every infirmity in the name of Jesus be gone now, be gone now, be gone now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in 
Jesus name be healed ah, be healed in Jesus name there's someone God is healing your arm your right arm severe pains the power of God is touching you now right now right now in the name of Jesus right now the Lord is showing me someone you have severe pains around your neck area you can't even sleep on one side because of the pain right now in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you the power of God is touching you every growth in your body I command it to disappear now in the name of Jesus Christ I just saw like a sword of fire and the Lord is saying he's delivering two people from depression this is an acute state of depression I command that spirit of depression leave them now leave them now leave them now out of their destinies in the name of Jesus now I decree and declare every blood condition be healed now blood conditions be healed now migraine headaches be healed now every bone condition pains around your joints be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone having severe back pain in fact you can't bend very properly it's, it's excruciating right now I decree and declare the power of God is touching you right where you are touching you right where you are I'm seeing someone your molars there's there's severe pain around your molars the Lord is healing you right now the Lord is healing you right now eye conditions be healed now ear conditions be healed now the Lord is asking me to pray for someone I think it's like your elder sister is suffering from cancer they diagnose her of cancer in the name of Jesus I don't know where that person is but by the power that raised Christ from the dead no matter what stage we reverse it now cancer be healed I hope you know that you are standing in for your loved ones there are various stations there are hospitals who are praying in the name of Jesus there's someone who has excruciating chest pain it looks like ulcer in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you now touching you now inability to sleep inability to sleep you lie down on the bed but you are not able to sleep max one hour and that's it in the name of Jesus I release you from that oppression now hear me, anyone here called barren, unable to be with child, or for your loved ones who are connected in the name of Jesus Christ, by reason of this miracle service, according to the time of life, by this time next year, they return with their children. By, by this time next year, they return with their children. By this time next year, they return with their children hallelujah the Lord is showing me someone you have severe pain around this is my right eye severe pain you can see but it comes with severe pain the power of God is touching you right now wherever you are the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ a lady you're having like a lump around the left area of your breast in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you we cause that devil from your body we cause that devil from your body the Lord is healing two ladies I'm seeing from severe bleeding this is what I'm seeing severe bleeding the power of God is going to come upon one of you and I declare that that satanic oppression I don't care how long it has been severe bleeding 
I'm seeing the Lord bring it to an end right now. Shout aloud, Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to minister to someone that every time you go to bed, you keep seeing dead people. People who have long gone, you keep seeing dead people. The Bible says, what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness? What communion has darkness has to do with light? In the name of Jesus, I severe that connection. Everything that connects you to the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, you are delivered now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, be healed now. There's someone you have diabetes, sugar diabetes. The power of God is touching you now. I'm seeing healing for diabetes. In the name of Jesus, I cause every devil. My God, I just had the sound of chains. Chains. I want to pray. Every chain holding anyone down, I declare at the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three. Be released now. Be released now. Every chain holding your destiny. Be released here at this convention. I release you now. I release you now. He said, let my people go that they may go and serve me. Every kind of chain, chains of addiction, chains of, of demonic oppression, be free from it now. Every kind of addiction, we break that chain now. We break that chain now. Hallelujah. Now hear me. I want you to begin to check yourself for those under the anointing and for those who are standing the moment you find out there are so many miracles happening here the moment you find there's a miracle I'd like you to boldly leave your seat just come to Pastor Emmanuel they'll just have a word with you and then we'll allow you okay there are two pastors here there's another pastor people are coming out are you celebrating them look what Jesus is doing check yourself you find there's a miracle make your way to the front very quickly every pain do what you couldn't do before come on america is this how you celebrate miracles blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name of the lord make your way out come for someone here the same way you saw the power of god move today may that be what follows your ministry may that be what follows your ministry declares one more prayer point say father one more time father in the name of Jesus I declare a restoration of everything I've lost finances relationships open your mouth and begin to pray command a restoration and I will restore unto you the years is someone praying. I will restore. I will restore. Are you declaring restoration? And I will restore the years. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Now, um, before you sit down, the Lord is showing me somebody, um, not to get you emotional, but it's like I'm seeing someone and then I'm not seeing the person again. Is it a baby that died or something? It's like there was a loss. Um, whether you lost a baby. Who is that person? Come. Your baby.
baby, your mother, you lost your mother. When? Yesterday. It's 13 years today. Oh, okay, okay, I see. The person I'm talking about, you lost your child. You... I did. I was pregnant, like, from last year. I lost the baby in February. Oh, you lost the baby. Listen, I'm not calling you to embarrass you, eh? This is, this is so that because you are going to receive double. I'm calling you up. Do you believe in the power of God? Don't cry, madam. This woman lost her child. Oh, my God. Don't cry. You see, look at me, ladies and gentlemen. Many of you may never understand the pain of losing a child, losing a loved one. Sir, don't cry. My dear sister, don't cry. You see, if this is the reason why God allowed for this meeting, it was worth it. To be able to speak first the message of love, even before power. The Bible says to comfort those who mourn in Zion. So even in Zion, there can be people who mourn. Some of you are crying right now, but I want to pray for you. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh. Yahweh, Lord, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Now, let me pray for you. Listen, for those of you who lost your children, I want to pray for you. Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. For behold, I do a new thing. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. Every couple here that has lost a baby or has lost, you know, in pregnancy or whatever it is, in the name of Jesus, first may the Lord comfort you. And every spirit of untimely death, as I'm praying for them, I'm praying for someone here. Every spirit of untimely death, hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, release God's people now. Release God's people now. No one under the sound of my voice will die before your time. And as I pray for you, I pray for your children. As I pray for you, I pray for your family members. Where is that believer? Shout a loud amen. Now in the name of Jesus, for those who, has, who have lost loved ones, may my God comfort you. The Holy Spirit is called a comforter. May you be deeply comforted in the name of Jesus. And for those who are trusting God, by the way, how many of you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb? Don't come, just lift your hands. My God will surprise you because I, I, I sense that anointing as I was praying and I want to release that grace now. You're trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You don't have to come out. I will pray for you aside those who are here already. Just place your hand on the stomach as a sign of Sir, you and your wife, I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. I pray for everyone here, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. As Eli prophesied to Hannah, as Elijah prophesied to the woman in Shunem, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, no matter how long you have been without a child, by this time next year, return with your miracle. By this return with your miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. No matter what the medical condition is, in the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we bring you life, we bring you healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. This man, help that woman. The power of God is resting on her. I'm seeing something move from her stomach. It's over right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. All forever. May the Lord bless you. Please return to your seats rejoicing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can we take a few testimonies? Please be seated for a few minutes and let's rejoice over these miracles. Yes, Pastor. Um, you, you said you had stroke. Yes. So 
I, I suffered. Can you just, okay, yes. Yes, my, my name is Valerie. Let's settle for a moment and then hear these testimonies. And then we're still going to pray. I'm still going to prophesy over your life. Yes, go ahead, sir. So I suffered a stroke. Can you help us with a, a, a volume on the sound, someone? Yes, on the mic now. So my, my name is Valerie. Yes. I suffered from a stroke. You suffered from stroke? Yes, on the 31st of December. Medically verified? Yes. For how long? Uh, it's six months now. Six months. This hand could not raise up. Your hand could not raise up. So Lift after... it up now. Look at this. <laughs> Lift it up. Bring it down. Lift it up. Bring it down. America, is this how you celebrate miracles? Look at this. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Yes, please. I was, my name is Jane Ogengi. I, I suffer from depression. From, from back, depression? From back pain, lower back pain. Lower back pain. Insomnia, no sleep. I no sleep. sleep? Yes, I couldn't sleep. What couldn't you do before? Huh? And now I can sleep. Now I'm happy with my mom. She took me here. Your mom now, is here with you. Mm -hmm. Mom, where is mom? Blessings of grace She's been in the name of Jesus Christ. She's been praying Christ. for me to sleep, and now I can sleep very peacefully. And now I can. Now I'm happy, and now I don't have any pain in my back. Any pain? Check. No pain. No pain. Any pain? Bend no down. Pain. Up. No pain. Any pain? No pain. Down. Up. No pain. No pain. No pain. In the name of Jesus, we declare perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Give her a big hand clap. You ready? Yes. Go ahead. Hello, my name is Favor, and before I wasn't feeling as whole, but now I feel very whole. We're feeling, come again? I feel very whole. Like, very. I feel different, like very, very whole. Oh, I see. May God bless you. Let's give her a big hand clap in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Uh, my name is Tracy Moore. Um, in 2018, I was diagnosed with schizophrenia and depression. 2018? Yes. You were diagnosed with schizophrenia and uh -huh. depression. So um, I've been I've been on medications, but after when while we we're praying, my head started moving, twitching, and I just started moving. And right out. now, right now, I'm, I can think clearly and I'm sound. Come on, give Jesus yes. praise. Give Jesus praise. Yes, mom. My name is Frida. A week ago, I was sleeping during the afternoon. I saw a very large. I'm not sure. With my my apologies. My name yeah. is Frida. Yes. I was sleeping a week ago. In you the were afternoon. sleeping a week ago. I, I was. In, I took a nap in the afternoon a week yes. ago, and I saw a dark, big cloud. And you saw a dark cloud. A dark what cloud happened? Overhead, and that dark cloud was like boxing, like thunder, but there was no rain coming down. It was like. Uh, and what happened now? When you prayed, uh, I. I feel light. Completely. Yes. That demonic occurrence will never repeat itself again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. My name is Rose. I've been suffering from a breast lump. You've been suffering from? Breast lump. lump. Breast lump. <laughs> Everything go away. I've been suffering from a lower body. Look at this. That's a labyrinth person. I hear the labyrinth accent. I'm not sure we can eat. Check yourself okay. now. I'm okay now. Completely. Completely. I thank God. Give Jesus a big, big hand clap. Yes, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Um, my name is Paula. And for over a year now, I've been suffering from demonic oppression. I was attacked in my dreams. And I felt, for over a year, I felt like spirits just moving around me. And I, can, I can't sleep. I just, wherever I go, I feel oppressed. And like that, there are things all around me and following me around. But today, while we were praying, I felt the Spirit leave me. Completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Uh, let's see. Let's see how many we can squeeze in within the next time. Um... Praise the Lord. My name is Busayo. Um, for the past couple of years, I've been suffering from migraines and pain in my molars. Migraine? And pain in my back molars. But as of today, the migraines have stopped and the pain in my teeth are gone. The pain? Yes. You are the lady with the pain? Yes. It's gone now. Yeah. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. In 2018, I had a very bad accident somewhere. You had an accident? Yes, in Nigeria. I broke a lot of my ribs, my sternum. 
my skin got ripped apart, lots of stuff happened. Um, I came back and they told me that my ribs were fine. They will never heal or mend. They will always be choppy. But what I didn't realize, I was wheezing. And every time I go to the doctor and I sing, but so the wheezing, it would just continue and whatever. Before you prayed for healing, I was already down. And I felt the rib, one of something, move even before you started talking. So when you said check to see what was going on, I did this. Go ahead. And the wheezing is gone. There's Come no on, more. Jesus. Give Jesus a big, 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 big hand clap. Never to return again. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Good morning. My name is Adi Jokia Agbaje. I've been suffering from depression and um, insomnia since 2014. But as we were praying, the anointing fell upon me and I declared healing in Jesus' name. Completely. Never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's see if we can take two or three here and then... Yes. Good morning, everyone. My name is Christine Dochi Agnele. I, su I suffer with severe period cramps. My... Pe my... <sighs> Sorry. My healing is, per is permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. My pain is gone. In the forever. name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. That pain, that discomfort is gone and gone forever. In Jesus' much less than we pray. Amen. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap for her. Yes, please. My name is Wendy, and I had a really large lump on my breast, and it's significantly smaller after you prayed, but I believe by the time I get to my... Right now. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit, never to return again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Someone help her. Yes. Let's celebrate Jesus for what he's doing. Praise the Lord. My name is Emmanuel. Um, over a week ago, I noticed a pain on my right shoulder. Pain on your right shoulder? Yes. I uh -huh. I, random motions just trigger it. So I don't know how to keep it. While you mentioned it, immediately I checked and I couldn't find it anymore. Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, you're healed forever. Yes. My name is Sylvia. For the past 13 years, there's been something sitting on my back. And when you prayed, it just left. And when I was coming here this morning, I was just fainting on the car. I was just feeling so weak. And when he came here, I just felt so thirsty. <laughs> help her, help her, please. Let's, let's have the Anosha just stand close to them. Um, some of them are still under the anointing, so praise the Lord. Okay, let's take the last. My name is Anna. I was suffering from neck pain. I used to sleep with the pillow on my neck and lower backache. Last night, when I heard that the man of God is in town, I believed myself and said, it is done. I slept like a baby. And now the backache is gone. Oh, Blood Jesus pressure, sugar diabetes. My legs were swollen. I'm just checking my Your legs were swollen? Yes, my and legs right were now. swollen. Yes. Now I check my legs, I check my bed. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm not sure we're going to be able to take the remaining testimonies, but just stretch your hands towards all who have been healed and just declare perfection for them. Go ahead in one minute for sake of time. We may not be able to take all of the testimonies, but just, just, just give a big hand clap to Jesus for all of these miracles hallelujah praise the name of the lord now my last assignment within the next one minute before i allow a pastor to just come take the stage one last call that i want to make very quickly i do not want to assume that everyone here is in a healthy relationship with the lord jesus christ it will be a costly assumption every time we're gathered like this i'm sure that there will always be one person who needs to make it right with Jesus or perhaps you have been saved but in truth um, things have gone haywire and you cannot say that you are in a functional relationship with Jesus right now you've backslidden things have gone you know um, wrong but you want to make it right just let me one more minute of your time I want to make this altar call and even if it's just for one more person, I want to give you an opportunity to truly make it right with Jesus. Remember, 
that all of these discussions are only for those who are in Christ. Those who are in Christ. I'll count one to five and I want you to boldly, unashamedly leave your seat and come and stand in front of me here. I begin my counting now. One. Let's celebrate them as they come. Two. Come. Make it right with Jesus and mean it from the depth of your heart as you come. You're not just coming to recite a poem. You're not just coming to ease guilt. You're coming to have a functional encounter with Jesus, the Son of the living God. Please come. Leave your friend, leave your neighbor. Come, come to Jesus. One more count and I begin praying. Come. Let's keep clapping as they come. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now, I salute every one of you. Thank you for the boldness, the courage to come. The Bible declares that as many who will come to him, he will in no wise despise. May I please request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. And then please say this after me loud and clear. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time, say, Lord Jesus. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I make Jesus my Lord, my Savior, and my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life from today and forever I am a child of God keep your hands lifted father thank you for this once the Bible declares that when they believe they receive life even everlasting I declare by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God I empower you by the spirit to begin to walk in victory from today and I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave indeed is broken over your life. From today, you go forward ever and backward never. For in Jesus' much less name, we pray. Do we have counselors for our dear people? Now, may I please request that you move to my right, which will be your left. You have a few counselors who will have a word with you and you'll be back to your seat. Let's give them a big hand clap in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, RCCG. May the Lord bless you. I love you from the depth of my heart. You go from glory to glory. You go from grace to grace. In Jesus' name. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you